Hi everyone, this is Jose Trujillo once again, coming to you from my art studio. And today, let me get a, a little bit more light. Bam, there we go. Today I'm going to be painting for you guys a couple of uh, sailboats. So here we go. Let's do some, this is some sailboats. You guys will see me do a brush and palette knife sometimes back and forth. Um, I really, I really just enjoy e either one. You know, I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of one over the other. Sometimes I do more, more brush. I gotta lie. I gotta lie. <laughs> I think I'm, I think I'm lying. Sometimes I do more brush. Sometimes I think I'm, I'm more of a fan of the brush. But I don't know, you know, there's those days that I'm like, that I'm like, uh, I need, I need, a, I need to paint with a, with a palette knife. It just, you know, it just makes more sense for some reason or another. <laughs> so, either way, it doesn't really matter. I've, I've talked in other videos about it. Don't get caught up on that. And if you do, make sure it's fun. We do get caught up on that idea of, of I'm more of a real artist if I paint with a, with a brush or a palette knife. Yeah. By the way, most of those ideas really come from, um, it's my belief anyways, I don't know. I believe they come from uh, they're exterior ideas, they're not really... You didn't plant them there, or maybe you did, but... But, uh... With the aid of other people that talk about that kind of stuff. Yeah. Still your fault, though. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Maybe. <laughs> So as you see, most of my work is very uh, minimalist, simplistic. You know? I don't, I don't like to complicate it. I've said this in other videos also. I don't, I don't like to complicate it. I think uh, the work of art doesn't need to be complicated. It could be intricate. It could be this. It could be that. But it doesn't need to be complicated. If, if that makes any sense. Lately, I've been looking at, um, at the paintings by um, Constable. It, I'm revisiting them again. He used to be one of my favorite ones also when I was, when I was learning how to paint. And I'm revisiting his uh, skyscapes again. Fall in love with him all over again. So you may see a little influence or two <laughs> in the brushwork or something, I don't know. They sound like those musicians that are like, <laughs> that are like, I've been listening to The Cure lately. That's why my song sounds like that. <laughs> Here's one of my all-time favorite colors, magenta. It's a little, it's a little mixed with uh, dioxazine purple, but 
Magenta just does it for me. I know a couple of really good artists who, uh, especially one in England, who's uh, who really knows, who really got the hang out of uh, applying magenta on his uh, shadows, using it as a as a as a as a shadow. I think he's a colorist artist, but I think he really uh, he's an older gentleman. I think he he. Over the years of his career, he really learned how to how to use magenta in a very uh, um, effortless way. That's what I like when I see a, a painter, when I see someone doing, you know, some type of whether it's a painter or whatever a musician. I like to see if they are able to do it effortlessly. It's, I, I, don't, I don't really pay much attention if, if they can do it. Uh, I, I look for the, for the effortless part. Are they able to do it effortless? You know? It was one of the... I, I used to work for... My brother I used to do an interior renovation when I was younger. And that was one of the markers of, a, of someone who knew their craft very well. You know, that was that was actually the main marker, you know. Someone who was a, a, a real pro. Whether they were laying tile or, or you know, uh, putting sheetrock or whatever it is that they were doing. I used to like seeing how how they were able to do it effortless. Even without getting um, uh, <laughs> without getting what do you call it? Without getting dirty. It's almost like this magical thing that you could do. You know, getting the job done quick. And jobs that look like, you know, if, if I were to do them, I'd be like getting super dirty and and maybe even maybe even injured in the way. <laughs> but a, a master uh, a master uh, craftsman. Did it without effort. I mean, they pay the price somewhere along the way, but you know, the effort is no longer there. And I like seeing that. That was pretty cool to watch. It didn't matter what they were doing, you know, whatever craft it was. It was just they had come to that place where they knew how to do things effortlessly. So there you have it. Thank you so much for uh, joining me for this awesome um, short video showing you some of my uh, approach to small paintings. And um, please, if you have any questions or comments or, you know, keep it positive, though. <laughs> leave, leave your comments below. <laughs> My name is Jose Trujillo. And I'm probably the world's awesomest artist. I'll leave you with that. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time.